Hi, welcome once again. Thanks for joining us for Greensboro Glimpses. On this program, we're going to be talking about something that's been a part of the Greensboro scene uh, for almost 14 years now. It's called One City, One Book. And here to talk about that with us is uh, on my far left is uh, Steve Summerford, who's the Assistant Director of the Greensboro Library. Steve. Hi, Jay. Thank you very much here. for joining us. And on his uh, right is uh, Teresa Wellendorf, who uh, is with the uh, Family Life Education Services and also president of an organization known as Casa Asu. Yes. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later in the program as Thank well. You. Thank you for being with us. I understand it's you, you go here. by Terry more than Teresa. Yes. Is that right? <laughs> so we'll call you Terry, although I think our graphic says Teresa. Uh, Steve, let's start by uh, reminding our viewers who may not be familiar or who may have forgotten a little bit about One City, One Book, how it got started and how it's evolved over the last 12, 13 years. Sure, Jay. I'm happy to, always happy to talk about One City, One Book. We started in 2002 with a book called A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest Gaines. And the city really just jumped on the project in a way we at the library never expected. It was the Greensboro Public Library's uh, 100th birthday in 2002 and we were trying to think of a really special way to celebrate 100 years of public library service in Greensboro and we thought let's try to bring the city together around a book. Let's spread it out you know we can all help each other and if we can do something that we're very, very good at then that'll help him and, and him in the library and also the same thing you know the library to come to come in this direction mm -hmm. too plus also you know if, if, if children and people can read you know they can do anything. Sure.